Hey, what's going on, everyone? Wanted to uh, touch base. Haven't uh, checked in in a little bit. It's been kind of busy. Uh, my father's been in town. We've been getting ready for the big day tomorrow. Been trying to clean up some things for the businesses and uh, all of that stuff. So I figured I would do a quick little scope here. What's up, Scott from Canada? What's going on? Uh, yeah, and just to remind you, too, that we did a couple of episodes this week, Monday and Wednesday. And uh, the one posted today was about three mistakes uh, using pay-per-click, how to avoid them, and how to... Hey, Andy. Uh, Jason from Atlanta. Uh, let's see. Um, Ola from Madrid. Scott Charles here from Dallas. What's up, Charles? A little drum roll of hearts for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for Scott and his generosity. Thank you for saying that. Clearwater, Florida. Yo, Scott. Jay from California. Lorraine from Omaha. Seattle, Washington. Cool. Yeah, keep up those hearts. I'm loving them. Blake from Chicago. What's going on? Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little scope here. I know I've been falling a little short here. I've been wanting to uh, uh, visiting in the car. Yes, I am in the car and I'm not driving. I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car today with that guy. How you doing, guy? <laughs> so uh, we're we're getting ready to uh, go into the wine store actually and grab a couple of uh, bottles of wine for the holidays, and then we are um, going also tonight to get a little dinner before Thanksgiving. Uh, Hank, happy Thanksgiving, Scott, to you and your family. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you. So. Uh, just wanted to uh, say I hope everyone has a great day tomorrow, whether you're celebrating it or not. And I also wanted to, um, I'm getting ready to eat my wife's cheesecake and she doesn't know it yet. Nice. <laughs> I need some wine. Susan says she needs some wine. What's your dad think when you told him about this? Uh, about what? Doing the Periscope? Um, cold weather is affecting my connection. Have to watch a replay later. Sorry to hear that. Um life of a lifer you are a bad man <laughs> hi from montreal what's going on um you know do thanksgiving that's all right still you can have a good meal together it's all about just celebrating uh company uh private labeling yes private labeling um okay so really really quickly i want to tell you guys a quick story i did a podcast episode the other day it was funny because my father was in the other room and i it's kind of it's kind of weird because i'm normally by myself on tuesdays I, it seems like my connection keeps dropping here. Are you guys still seeing me and hearing me? Say yes if you are. Seems like it froze up and then it kicked back in again. Give me some love. Give me some hearts. Let me know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Um, yes, kind of laggy. It's weird. I'm in a parking lot and uh, in and out keeps dying. Huh, barely dropping. Spotty. Huh, you keep dropping. Let me just make sure that my Wi-Fi is not again trying to uh, to engage here. I don't know why that's not working for me either. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, the Wi-Fi isn't even. Uh, let me let me get rid of the Bluetooth. Maybe it's a Bluetooth going. Um, okay, so um, yeah, everything seems to be all right right now. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna say here is this little story. I, I was. Um, recording and it's kind of weird too when you're recording and you got people around you i'm normally just by myself so it was kind of throwing me off and it was funny that when i got done with it my father all right guys i'm back i don't know what happened there i'm in a bad spot maybe i have to turn it over this way maybe that'll give me a better connection or something looks like a lot of you were back in lol uh we had about 75 or so I just drop off again that is so weird uh, okay, I'm going to try to get, get this. Um, thought it was your phone. It might be my phone. Uh, maybe it's thousands of hearts. Maybe. Uh, okay, so really quickly. I was doing the podcast. It was really good. And um, what it was about was me kind of discovering these product ideas by just being around people, like family members or parties or any of that stuff. And a quick story is my um, my wife's cousin is in the pest control business where he, you know, takes care of bees in the summertime and ants and termites and all that stuff. And we, uh, we, we were talking and this was probably about four or five months ago. And we were talking all about his business. Um, and then we started talking about my businesses and then all of a sudden I started getting these ideas for him to roll out products. Now he's not rolling out products. That's just, he's not into it. He just, again, you can tell people how to do this stuff. It's just, most people are probably not going to do it. Um, I just seen it. I just seen it freeze up there again. I might have to reconnect later. Um, I'll try to get through it here. But 
bottom line is, if you're gonna be around company, because it is the holidays right now for us anyways, but if you're if, if you're international and you're not, if you're around company anytime, pay attention. There's so many different opportunities just staring you in the face probably if you just listen to what people are saying. I literally could have went down that um, that product line with him and said, let's start rolling out stuff for bed bugs, stuff for um, bees, fighting bees in the summertime, maybe for pest uh, control uh, people that actually run businesses. Maybe we could, um, maybe we could sell, um, you know, different devices, uh, different, they have the, these, these little powder things that they, they puff. Look under the couch and you're, you may just find your next million dollar business, right? So it's just, it could be sometimes right there in front of you and there's tons of products that you could roll out. What about like rodents? You could chirp. Um, well that there could be also a product idea, right? So there's all of these, a bee suit. You know, the guys that are fighting bees, they need these bee suits. Actually, he told me he just bought one. It was like $125 for this bee suit, right? So you could sell bee suits to pest control businesses. Um, so again, I'm just saying like that idea came from me sitting there having a hot dog and a beer with uh, a friend of mine. And then all of a sudden this came about. Um, it was funny because then his brother was there and he's into the lawn care business, you know, fertilizing and stuff like that. Well, I wouldn't want to sell chemicals, but he could sell the devices to spread the chemicals, a spreader. Um, he could, he could sell, um, you know, probably like edging material for the yard. Um, you know, that type of stuff or whatever else that those guys, uh, uh, you know, use on a regular basis. So anyway, so I was recording this episode. My father was a yeah, hot dog cooker. There you go. Um, there's all different things, right? That you could technically sell just from like, oh wow, I'm starting to see more yellow cars now that I'm starting to look at a yellow car. Um, or maybe it's just the make of car. Um, it's just funny that when you start opening your eyes and ears, you can really be exposed to things that you aren't even aware of normally because you're not looking for them. All right, so my advice to you for the holidays or just for any time in general, pay attention, listen, and uh, you can come up with ideas. I mean, literally, right there. And it could be them that are giving you the ideas and maybe they already have a product that they sell and you can say, hey, can, can we maybe sell your product on Amazon? I'll help you with it and I'll just take a cut and there you go. You got another little business stream there, right? Or another little revenue stream. Um, you have to know what to look for. Exactly, you just need to listen though. Like me, I'm not a pest control guy, but I know that they're selling stuff there's a fist pump. Um, you know, they're, they're selling stuff to their customers because they have problems. You know, hey, uh, you know, uh, I've got bee problem. I've got ant problems. I've got, uh, they need an inspection because of basement. So now we have to have some type of preventative for snakes or, um, you know, mice or uh, cockroaches or any of that stuff, right? There's a ton of things right down that particular business line that we could go into. I got 99 problems, but a B ain't one. <laughs> Scorpions, right? I mean, there's so many different things. I don't know if there's any product selling on Amazon, but I'm sure that there's people out there selling stuff for bed bugs. That's a big one that people are always, you know, talking about, and um, that's a big issue. Um, ants. Um, you can do ant traps, mouse traps. Uh, you know, certain devices to block them from coming into certain areas. Um, big one uh, this time of the year. Yeah, definitely. So. Again, I just wanted to do this quick scope for you. I know it was a little patchy, uh, but I wanted to kind of get your get your thinking cap on when you're around company, whether it's tomorrow at Thanksgiving or whether it's just sitting around having dinner um, or having that cup of coffee. So I hope that that's been helpful. Tap it up if you guys think that that was tap or tapful. <laughs> if it was helpful, not tapful. Uh, tap it up. Wally says tap it up. Oh yeah, tap it up. <laughs> Four fingers, let's do a quad. <laughs> the quad tap. And uh, yeah, give some love. Share this, swipe it, share. Uh, we try to, we're up over a thousand followers now on Periscope, which is great. Um, Lean Green Girl says, ha ha ha, rapidly tap, tapful. <laughs> <laughs> You're very tapful people. Uh, yeah, so just um, you know, share this if you think it was helpful or if you think people would be interested in any of these scopes. I'm going to definitely be trying to do more scopes on a regular basis. I know I say that, but I really need to just get it into my, uh, my routine because I do want to be able to connect on a regular basis. So um, if you guys are celebrating cel or, uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow, have a great day. Enjoy your family. Be safe. Um, you know, definitely listen to what people are saying and enjoy. But you can also be thinking, you know, wow, I just realized that someone is making hand soap and they're selling it in their local business. 
um, maybe we could work out a deal, right? So yeah, thank you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you as well and anyone else that's celebrating it. And if you're not celebrating it, have a great day anyway and hopefully you have a great meal tomorrow um, and just be thankful for that meal. So yeah, that's it. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you. Uh, have an awesome night, awesome day, whatever time of uh, day it is that you're watching. If you're watching the replay, you can go ahead and share this as well. Um, happy Thanksgiving from the UK. Awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so uh, I got to run in to the, the uh, liquor store here before they close, and uh, we can get a couple bottles of wine for our company tomorrow and enjoy that. And uh, here's a toast to you. Boom. All right, talk to you later.